Hi, my name is Matthias Holtkisosun. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my research. So I do synthesis and repair with types and tests, but what I'm going to tell you today is how to fix a song. So my background is that I work at the intersection of programming languages and software engineering, and my thesis is focused on program repair, where we automatically fix issues with code uh, using types and tests. So why and who are we doing it for? Well, half the time spent programming is spent debugging. So the idea is, if we can automate that, then we can save developers time. But let me tell you a little bit about what we are doing. So code is a bit like lyrics. So in this case, uh, it's a happy birthday to you song, but it's been changed a bit to make it a bit funny. So when you write lyrics, you have to stick to certain rules. You have to make sure that the lyrics fit the tune and you have to make sure that it has that it rhymes. So let's look at this song. Happy birthday to you. You live in the zoo. You look like a monkey. And you smell like one. Also, see that last line, it, it doesn't really fit, right? The last word doesn't rhyme. And it makes the whole song sound a bit off. So there's something wrong with the lyrics here. Even if the rest kind of all makes sense, the last one makes the whole thing wrong. And because we've heard so many songs before, we can already tell that it's the last word that's wrong. So this is a process called fault localization, where we try to figure out what causes something to be wrong. So here we know that the last word does not rhyme with the first two words you and sue. So what is the rule here? Well, the rule is that that last word has to have this ooh sound. So one way we say talk about this in computer programming is that we say that these things have types. So we give it some uh, idea of what shape it should be. And then we use that shape to figure out what should go where. So the types here is that we want these things to have a new sound. So the first one, you, has a new sound, and the second one, su, has a new sound, but the third one also has a so sound. So it doesn't fit the same shape. So how can we fix this, fix this program, or fix these lyrics? Well, what we do is that we take out the wrong word and we replace it with a whole. So because we know that the, this hole has a type, we call it a typed hole. So the type of this hole here is the ooh sound. So we're saying that whatever we put in here should have an ooh sound. So this allows us to focus our program repair on this specific part. And in the meantime, we kind of forget about the rest of the program. So now that we know what part of the program is wrong and what shape that part should have, we can try coming up with some replacements. Now, this process is called synthesis. So synthesis is when you have some specification, in this case, the types, and then you try to come up with something that fits that specification. So let's think of something. Okay, you. Okay, yeah, that has the U sound, works. Through and through. Okay, yeah, it has the U sound, so it fits the shape. Two. Okay, yeah, sure, fits the shape. But do they all work? So if we say, and you smell like one you, well, we're repeating the you from before. So it works, but it doesn't really fit what we want for a song. Usually when we rhyme in a song, we want to use different words. So it's not just the shape that matters, but also which words we use. So to test this, we use testing. So we have to figure out how can we tell that we'd want to have a unique word here. Well, we write a test and we say that the whole should not be you and the whole should not be soup. Okay, so now we can eliminate you. It doesn't match the test suite, 
So we can't use that word. So what about through and through? Well, it has the oo sound, but if we sing it, and you smell like one through and through, we have to kind of sing it a bit fast. So it, it doesn't quite fit uh, what we want from the song. So how do we fix that? Well, we just add another test. We say that whole has to be one syllable. We want it to be short to kind of fit the rest of the tune. Okay, so what about two? Well, it has the right shape. It has the oo sound. It's not you, it's not Sue, and it's one syllable. So we match all the things that we need from the specification. And so we can just put it in the hole. And that's what we talk about when we talk about repair. We just replace the hole with the thing that we found. All right, so now by replacing the hole, it finally sounds good. All right, and that's what we do. That's how we repair programs. And of course, it's not always this easy. And my research is focusing on the fault localization, so figuring out which parts of the program is wrong. Uh, I figure out how to make good guesses, guesses with the synthesis. And finally, uh, bring it all together into this one automatic repair program. So let's think about a bit, like, who is it for? Where can we get it? And when is it available? Well, the first part, the typed holes in the whole phase synthesis, that got added to the Haskell programming language that I usually use uh, way back in 2018. So when the main compiler for the Haskell programming language, you've been able to use this uh, guess coming up with the replacements uh, since 2018. Uh, since 2022, there has been this automatic repair program for Haskell. Uh, we called it proper. And it takes in uh, Haskell code and tries to do this automatic program repair. Now, currently, it only works for uh, small programs, but we're working on making that better. So uh, better fault localization, uh, in this case, something called tracing, where you kind of keep track what you were doing, has been proposed uh, for this GHC compiler. And we're in the process of uh, making the shaping up the proposal and making it so that it can get into the, the compiler itself and makes it available for everyone that's using the language. Now we have some more ideas about uh, better fault localization, uh, but it's currently in the works, so I can't really share that now. Uh, and then we're going to bring that all together, uh, the, the better replacements, the better fault localization, and uh, bring it all together into one big program uh, and make it so that you can repair any Haskell program easily without putting in too much effort. All right. Uh, that's the overview of my research. I hope you learned a bit about how program repair works. And I hope that you come to me and ask any questions that you might have. Thank you. This was a popular science presentation from Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden.